Hi everyone, Astrid here, and I hope you're having a beautiful day. I was very interested recently because I found myself looking at, over and over and over and over again, at the imagery that comes up when you watch the news around the coronavirus. And it's very interesting because, have you noticed how every time they're doing, and they're doing it all the time because that's the main news at the moment, but all of the time, our minds are seeing the imagery of the actual virus. So I'm sure if, like, as I'm talking now, you can picture it in your mind, what that is. So if I said to anybody right now, um, describe the, the image of what a coronavirus looks like, they'd be able to say, oh, I know what it is. It's that sort of ball and it's got spikes and, and you know, sticks going out of it and it's all bubbly in the middle. And they'd be able to describe it. And it's red and it's floating around. So people would be able to describe it. Now, what's really, really interesting is during this time, our mental health is so vital and so important. And we can do a lot ourselves to help us stay really well mentally um, as we go through this period of time. And one of the biggest things is to be very, very conscious that whenever you're seeing an image like the imagery of the coronavirus itself, it's having an effect on our mental health. It's having an effect that actually, so often when you just even see that image, it starts to cause fear because that's what our minds have associated with what is happening in the world today. So what happens is as, um, as we look at the image and we hear these really tragic reports of what is happening around the world, um, it creates more fear within our minds and therefore we then go into the stress response. So we then go into a survival mode of, of our bodies gearing up for some kind of fight. Now, this may not be overtly obvious to you, but it's happening. So whenever we're in fear, we're, we are in lockdown. We're in our own lockdown. Regardless of the lockdown that may be going on outside, fear shuts us down, but it mobilizes us in another way to take some sort of action. And that action is either fighting or running. And of course, where is there to run? Um, where is there to fight? And, and also many people then just either then they freeze or they fold. So they, if you're folding, you're collapsing. So one of the important things, and this may really help, um, I've certainly, um, I've been using this with myself uh, very much recently, is to change the imagery of what you see on the TV, as well as limiting your exposure to the news every day. You know, by all means, you know, it's, it's very necessary to know what's going on in the world, but not to keep going over and over and over it. Um, because that just drums it in to the mind, which then filters down into becoming a subconscious program over and over again. So that's how subconscious programs are made, through repetition. And also, they, they're very strong when they have a high emotion attached to it. And there is high emotion right now. So a really good technique and a really good thing is to change the image that you see just in your own mind when it comes up on the TV. So the next time that that image of that coronavirus shape comes up, Choose something else that you would rather see instead that reminds you of joy, peace, health, or vitality. So for me, what I do is I've, I, I mentally change that and I've changed it into a beautiful white dove. And so what I see now is instead of that coronavirus, which is red and spiky and, and it looks menacing and it's floating about and there it is, I now change it to the most beautiful white dove. And that white dove is spreading her wings and she's soaring and she's free and she's well and she's happy. Um, another, if you wanted to take this a little bit further, what you could do, and I think this is a very powerful technique, um, is to just actually make an image for yourself that you look at every day that reminds you of peace, joy, vitality and the things that you love. So for me, you know, um, making an image of that white dove would be very powerful so that I look at that more and I feed that to my mind and myself every day with joy, with health, with vitality, with wellness for me, but for everyone else in this entire universe, in this world. So it's just, it's just really understanding how vital it is to look after our mental health. And there are many, many great techniques that we can do and they can keep us well, 
they can keep us thriving because everything starts from here. And you know, as part um, what I've been very aware of as a coach um, is that you know we have the coronavirus, but we also have another virus, which is the fear virus. And over a period of time, that can really affect us in negative ways. So you know, I think knowing the tools and techniques that will help you boost your immune system, your, men your mental health, your physical health, this is, this is so important. So change the imagery. So next time you see that, I mean, what would be really great is it actually if the TV companies did that themselves. They actually realized, stop putting imagery up of the coronavirus symbol and actually change it to something beautiful. Like, like for instance, a, a new dawn rising, um, the sunrise of an early morning, uh, beautiful blue skies, rainbows. This would be what I would be wanting to see right now for all of our mental health, to be really honest. You know, if they understood that and they could put, they could actually do that, the TV companies would be doing a lot just by broadcasting different imagery that would help us also then we see that and we move into hope. If I see a rainbow, that signifies, oh, joy and, and um, uh, magic and that miracles can happen. If I see blue skies, I'm, I feel unbounded, I feel free, I feel that everything is okay. So it's so powerful. So, but as, and maybe they're not going to do that, I don't know, um, but we can do that. So it's up to us. So the mental imagery that comes into my mind now, when I see that Corona symbol, I change it to my white dove and my white dove in blue skies. And maybe my white dove is flying over a rainbow. Yes, that feels good. And that will help change our mind and our mental health. So I hope this, I hope this has helped. Um, do use it. Um, I think, as I say in a lot of my mini life classes and um, talks, you know, we can know all of this stuff, but until you actually do it and you use it on a consistent basis, then nothing changes. We have to take that action. So um, lots of love to you. Stay well, stay wonderful. Keep seeing the images that you want to see that remind you of health, vitality, well-being and how glorious this world is and then pass that on to everybody else so lots of love have a beautiful day thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you again soon bye bye bye